Hi, it's Will from Axis Accountants, and this time I wanted to show you a killer feature of Xero, which can help your business with planning, uh, and that's the budgets feature. I'm in the demo company here, and to access the budgeting feature, uh, you click on reports and budget manager. To the left there, you'll see a split of months that are already passed and future months. The future months have um, an area for you to enter the budget. You can budget for income and you can budget for costs. And then once you've completed a budget, you can view what you've actually sold and spent against what you expected to sell and spend. So to complete the budget, it's a very simple process. All you do is enter the numbers that you think um, based on past information or based on knowledge. Um, that you're going to incur in the month. So we'll just whip through these and put some random numbers in. There you go, and that's the budget completed. What you'll notice is that there's a green arrow next to some of these numbers. And what that allows you to do is copy over the monthly figure into future months. There's also one at the top, and when you click on it, it brings up this options box that allows us to add um, it either clear all the amounts in future months to apply the amount that we've got in the existing month, adjust by an absolute amount, so five pounds, for example, or adjust by a percentage, so we can increase the budget steadily as we go. We're going to apply the month we recorded there in April, and if you click apply, it copies the existing budget across. So it's a quick way to fill budgets in the future. Now you can go and edit your individual amounts. And if you want to copy the adjusted amount across, again, you can click that button and then it will change that. So what you can do is apply a budget across the rest of your financial year. When you've done that, you want to, you're going to want to look at a variance report. In the all reports section, there's budget summary and budget variance. If we just highlight them, they'll put them, if we favorite them, it'll put them in here. And we'll, set, we'll first look at the budget summary report. And that's just a summary of the budgets that we've set until the end of the financial year. The most valuable report though, is the budget variance report. This is gonna record what actually happened against what's budgeted so using budgets as a control mechanism to make sure that you're not overspending in certain areas or that the bookkeeping uh, has been done correctly uh, is a fantastic thing. And what you can do once you have this report, you can sort of investigate any major differences. Um, you can see there we haven't budgeted for salaries, so we'd want to go and amend the budget for that or look at the salary posting to see if there's been a mistake. Once you've got that report, you can print it, you can publish it into a standard zero report, so you can put a header on the report and actually issue it to an interested third party. Or you can dump the whole thing into Excel, then use that, use them figures for building other financial models. So that's a very quick overview of the budgeting facility in Xero. Um, I think you'll agree that it's a very useful feature. Please visit us again because I'm going to do uh, carry on with this video series. Future videos, we're going to look at some of the shortcuts that exist in Xero, and then we're going to go on to look at the integrations you can have with other products. And we're just going to build up this page as a knowledge bank of zero videos. Thank you very much. Uh, until next time.